we're going live with it with the bitcoin i mean that doggy coin at six cents we're up 400 bucks you guys missed it but we're at the six six and a half mark six cents so this is where i'm at right now so i messed up i had i had buying it way before the the pump again so i bought my first time ever buying doggy coin was january 13th i had bought it at less than a, a penny i bought 13 dollars worth i bought with that 13 dollars i bought 1500 shares and then a couple days later i put a hundred dollars in again and then i bought that bought me 11k at the nine cent well less than a penny mark and then i messed up i so i sold because it went i lost money again so i was like you know what fuck this fuck doggy coin and then i came back because i knew what it was so I came back and I bought it at the two penny mark because I knew it was going to pump. And look what it did. It pumped. And I messed up because I sold again and I bought again. So I bought them at three pennies again. And now look at us. We're coming up just like that. We're hitting the stack mark. So once again, look, on the 29th, we're up. And then we dipped. That's when we buy again. That's when we, when we dip. That's when we buy. And once we get high, we sell. Like right now, you had to pump it and then dump it. But I expected to hit the eight cents today if we're on the Super Bowl commercial. If we are on the Super Bowl commercial, it's the eight cent mark. We're most likely gonna hit the 10, 10 cent mark by the end of the month. I expect it the end of the month. I expect it to hit a dollar if it's picking up this much traction. So what what can we do? Pour the most money in the newest low. Five could be the newest low. It's been maintaining its, itself. Steady going up. Steady going up. Slowly, 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 slowly. I've been up for three days straight. I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, just, just got to keep an eye on it. Keep your eye on it. And if you have the money, you know, at the end of the day, it's a risk. And, you know, with the risk, there's always a high reward. So what, do what makes sense to you. Think about your future. Think about your pockets. Yes. So look look what you're coming up. I doubled up. I doubled up. Can you double up? Yes or no? That's the question. Do you want to double up? Yes or no? That's where this is where the line, the fine line sets you apart from the quitters, from the people, from the doers, if from the watchers, etc. What side of history do you want to be on?